Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. Hello there, wherever you are. I want to thank you for joining me in my channel. Today, we are going to start a new series in dealing with problems relating to what we call the assignment problem. Assignment problem has to do with where you have several jobs to be done and you need to assign persons or assign machines to do those um, several uh, jobs that you have. How do you am ensuring that every of those machines or those tasks are carried out and performed without experiencing any delay? So how do you assign each person or each machine or each task to particular jobs? That's what assignment problem is about doing. Um, we're using what we call the Hungarian method of um, solving assignment problem. And it will entail that where we are given an array of data in terms of figure, and those figures represent what we call cost um, um, values. Well, I need to also point out to you that in uh, doing assignments, sometimes you may have to deal with what we call cost minimization, as well as on another time we have to look at what we call the profit maximization. Both um, ways of dealing with assignments, where we can use the Hungarian method to solve the problem. It will entail that from the array of data we are given representing costs or representing profit or representing investments, what we do is that we find the least cost for each row and do what we call row operation or row reduction. We reduce the value of each um, of each of those items or those um, data by the least value so that the whole essence is so that we can obtain zeros in our the array of data that we have as many zeros that we can obtain then those zeros are joined by certain lines as we're going to see in the example from there we can now assign um, different jobs for different tasks as the case may be. When we have reduced the, the done the row operation, there may be need for us to do what we call column operation to reduce the values in the columns. If all if there's any row that is still having or if there's any column that is still having that is not having any zero. So we will now need to further reduce the it with the column operation. Once we've done that, then we will now join the lines again and to find to check for optimality. If optimality is not obtained by some um, rules which I'm going to share with you, and that rule has to do with the number of lines that join or the number of lines that join all the possible zeros that we are going to have in the array um, it has to be the same number of the matrix that we have the square matrix that will be given so if it's not done then we will now find another way of reducing the um, creating more zeros again so that we can have more lines to achieve optimality these um, um, explanations I am going to do in this initial example that we have and in subsequent examples that we'll be, we'll be uploading on this channel. Please do well to follow us on all the examples that we will be um, putting up so that you can have 
a better grasp of these dealing with this problem called what we call assignment problem. You're welcome to my channel. Mind you, if you've not um, um, subscribed to this uh, channel, please do like and share. And I'd like to hear a word or two in the comment section of this um, um, of this video. Let's look at what we have on our workboard. You're welcome. Here we have uh, a very simple example of um, dealing with assignment problem. Look up here, we have an assignment problem and this is cost minimization. We're dealing with reduction of cost. And in cost minimization, that word cost will always come up in terms of how do you reduce cost of assigning because the object of any business enterprise is to ensure that you reduce costs in order to have more profits or you find a way of maximizing your profit in order to stay afloat in your business. So in this case, we are dealing with cost reduction. And these values that you have here, we have a workstation, one, two, three, four. And we also have four jobs. The jobs are to be, the jobs are assigned as W, X, Y, and Z. So that um, how do we assign each of these each of these jobs to the work session? These values here represent the cost. The cost of assigning um, W to one is fifty. Cost of assigning W to two is forty-five. W to three is fifty. W to four is forty-five, and so on and so forth. Now, what we do first of all is what we call row operations. Uh, that's step one. I would say. This is step one, and I'll refer to it as, as row operation. Row operation, it has to do with identifying the smallest value in each row. You identify the smallest value in each row, and you are going to deduct that smallest value from itself and all the other values on that row. In many texts, you are going to have some textbooks start with column operations. But I prefer, I like doing row operations for, for columns. So either way, you will, you will still arrive at the same answer. Let's look at what we have. So the row operation has to do with, let's look at the, the minimum of each row now. The minimum of each row, like for this row, the minimum here is 45. That the smallest value is 45. For this row, it is 20. I hope you can see that. 20 is the smallest on the row. For this row, what's the smallest? 55. How about for this row, what's the smallest? We also have 55. So what you do is that you are going to deduct this smallest value from itself and all the others in the same row. So what we're going to have, we're going to have one, two, three, four column. Then this will be 50 minus 45 will give you five. 45 minus 45 will give you zero. 50 minus 45 will give us five. 65 minus 45 will give us 20. And then the next one, 25 minus 20, 25 minus 20 will give us uh, five. 40 minus 20, 20. 35 minus 20 is 15. And then 20 minus 20 is 0. Um, the next one is 55. 65 minus 55 is 10. 60 minus 55 is 5. 55 minus 55 is 0. Um, 65 minus 55 is 10. The last column, the uh, last row is 55 is the least, so that we have 0 here. 65 minus 55 is 10. 75 minus 55 is 20. And 85 minus 55 is 30. Alright, now we have now achieved what we call our row operation. In looking at the row, in looking at the row, look at the row very carefully. The question is, 
as you have done this row operation, you have to ask yourself, is there any column that is not having any zero? Is there a column not having any zero? In this case, we're looking at this column. After we've done this, there's a zero here, there's a zero here, there's a zero here, and there's a zero here. Because if you find any column without a zero, that will make you have to go and do what we call a column operation to reduce that value so that you can have zero. Now, since we have achieved zeros in all the columns, we do not now need to do what we call the column operation. I repeat again, since we have zeros appearing in all the columns here, at least there's one zero in all the columns, we do not need to now do any column operation. What we'll just simply do is to assign. So anywhere that you have a zero, that's what you are going to assign. At least one zero in that space, that's what you are going to assign. What I mean is that the optimal, what we now do is that, um, okay, let's not forget that. Um, when we have turn zero here, we will join um, the lines. We will join the lines, like in this case, I've joined the zeros by a line. We have one line that can cover all the zeros. As many lines that can cover all the zeros. So we have one, two, um, three, and four. So we have four lines. We have four lines. And say the number of lines that we have is equal to the matrix size. This is a four by four matrix. One, two, three, four columns. One, three, three, four rows. This is a four by four um, matrix. So, and we have achieved four lines covering the four zeros that we have. As many, if you have two zeros in one line, you now have to use one line to cover as many zeros as can cover. So in this case, we've covered this and we have four lines. So what we just do, we just simply have reached the optimum assignment so all we just do now assign so the optimum assignment optimum assignment here will be that we are going to simply assign w should be assigned look at it w here should be assigned to workstation 2 w will be assigned to workstation 2 because it has zero here, just one zero. Y, I mean, um, W will be assigned to two. X will be assigned to four. There's no competing zero here. There's no competing zero here. So X will be assigned to four. X will be assigned to workstation four. Y will be assigned to workstation three. There's no competing zero here. So X, Y will be assigned to workstation 3 then z will be assigned to workstation 1 z will be assigned to workstation 1 so this is the assignment that we have but how do we know the cost that it will take what the cost will take with that we'll now have to put cost here so we'll go back to the original table that we have the original matrix that we have and check for where these values what costs are assigned to these positions in this case now if you look up here w we said w is assigned to workstation 2 so workstation 2 is 45 so we have 45 naira here case will be okay then x is assigned to workstation 4 x is assigned to workstation 4 so we have 20 here y is assigned to workstation 3. Y is assigned to workstation 3. So I have 55. Then Z is assigned to workstation 1. Um, workstation 1 is also 55. So you see what we've done right now. We've assigned it in such a way that um, the cost is assigned, is attached. And very interestingly, this cost as we are seeing is appearing as a minimum cost so no competing zeros from anywhere it's not usually like that in most uh, questions but it's just simple uh, illustration let's add up this 
we are going to have 15, this 555 five, five, makes it 15, we have 1 here, this is under 5, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 10, that's 175. So the answer we have here, the cost of assigning these four jobs to the four workstation is 175, it's 175. Please look out for the next video that we will have on dealing with more intricate example on um, assignment problem. Thank you very much for joining me today.